So it's 10.45 and I brought my mom already to work because she needs to go somewhere in noise. So I got back. I'm actually editing some stuff here and uploading a video. I'm lagging a bit behind, which I'm sort of already aware of. But, you know, when you're traveling, I need to find a different way of doing this because it is really time consuming. I don't know if you are aware of that, guys, but, you know, cutting these videos is fucking hell. It's, uh, it's so much work. Yeah. A brush for little hair. Wow. You're better off taking a normal brush than these ones. These ones, this one actually really hurts. I never used this before. Look at this, like a massive brush. So we need some hair gel, which we will now put into the hair. That would already be a hairstyle, right? A bit like, I don't know. How does it look like? Like a footballer, right? They have their hair like this most of the time. But now comes the magic bit, the the actual dot on the top. And you know what? The funny thing is, making this dot isn't that easy. It looks always easy. This one was actually quite fast and quick. You know, it has to be directly in the freaking middle. By the way, this is a beauty blog right now. <laughs> if you're a man and you need man grooming, hit the follow button. Not the follow, the fucking subscribe button. This is more the the samurai style. Now what I normally do is on the sides so that doesn't you know, start falling out, use some more hair gel and clutch it on the side. The funny thing is, I'm back in Germany now. So, I mean, not back, but I'm, as I'm visiting here, I'm obviously speaking more German and that has an effect on my, on my speech and how I think and so on and so forth, which is really interesting. My blogs are obviously all in English, but once you're back in a country, you start speaking my language more, you're obviously getting better at it. I still have some times when I speak with German people and I say something in English, and they're like, what? <laughs> because I, you know, to me, I speak like whatever word comes into my head and then I start speaking. And I always think, why doesn't he understand what I'm talking about? Isn't that obvious? But you, you must have noticed that in, in my blog as well, where I say something in English and then a little word in German and then I'm like, I have no fucking idea what it's, what's called in uh, English. So it's both ways, but anyway, so I'm getting ready now. I, I'm actually looking for some new shoes, um, but I don't know the exchange rate and all this stuff. So I'm actually going to go and try to find a, like a, a sneaker store or something like that. And then I'm going to go to the gym and actually do some tricking and, you know, to my old gym you've seen yesterday. Uh, see how that goes. All right, so I'm in Cologne now. I parked my car here, sort of in the middle of, uh, of Cologne, and this is where I used to park when I went to the actual uh, gym. So I'm gonna show you now where the gym is where I used to go, which was called uh, Holmes Place. So I know it's quite a high-end sort of uh, studio and it's not that common around the world, but I have a couple of studios, I think in Germany, maybe even in London, I don't actually know. But yeah, let me know if you know that. Uh, leave a comment, comment box below if you ever heard of um, Holmes Place. I'm just gonna show you where it is here. So here's Holmes Place, all next to the Hard Rock Cafe. Yeah, and then you go into the uh, actual elevator and it goes up, goes up one store all the way up. And there's the Hard Rock Cafe, but we're gonna go that way because we actually want to do some shopping today, so let's do that. Schillergasse. So there's a massive sports um, sports company called Sport Check. I'll show you over here. So right over there. And if you're a sports student, you actually get a discount when you go there. So that's actually pretty cool. So we're gonna have a look. I still get a discount. Who knows? Guys, I arrived back at the gym. As you can see, thing is, I didn't find any shoes. It was just so massively packed and insanely busy because everyone is out and about. You know, it's sunny outside. It's amazing freaking weather. I mean, being inside is really insane, but yeah, it's just too much for me. I hate crowds. I hate walking around. I hate being pushed around. You know, these are all things I feel a bit uncomfortable as well by all these terror things going on in the world. You don't want to be in a, in a massive sort of uh, group anyway. 
I decided let's go and do some workout. So here we go. All right, welcome everyone. Here we are in the parkour gym. And I forgot my freaking shoes, which is great. So either I train without or I don't know. We might go to the acrobatic one anyway in a second. But this is so cool. So much stuff here to do. So fucking easy, doesn't it? <laughs> right, the old guys are tricking now. <laughs> Whatever tricking is. Did a bit of a training session. It wasn't really a training session. I was actually more speaking with Alex, you know, because we haven't seen each other for ages. And so it's more speaking and training at the same time. Um, as you can see, I'm not as fit as I was five years ago, but you know, uh, as I always say, if you don't train that specific area, then you will always get worse. So you have to keep up with everything. You know, it's the same with building muscle, losing weight, and so on. If you stop training and eating more shit, you're gonna put on weight again. If you don't do tricks and you stop tricking, you, you're not going to be able to trick again. If you haven't been driving a car for a while, you have trouble driving a car. You know, it's like, it's really with everything. Anyway, I'm answering some questions. I'm having a orange monster today. Orange with my head, you know, orange monster. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's that really. <laughs> 